Alright, so now let's have a look at heading out to the highway by Judas Priest. Uh, East Thunder Tuning. Uh, the song goes in the A, by the way. And it's a very classic, really uh, good riff, not too complicated either, and it goes like this. Okay, so I don't think I have to play it slowly because it shouldn't be too complicated. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, that's the really good riff, should be fast to learn as well. Um, let's continue on to a side two where we're gonna enter the verse. So we ended this first part of the song uh, by a long A power chord right here. And from that, we're gonna continue on here. And the note that we have syncopated chords here all the way, which is kind of a kind of typical Judas Priest. Uh, okay, so we're gonna go from A to C to G and back to A. And then we're gonna go to F and G and uh, back to A again. Then I'm gonna repeat the whole thing uh, on the slide three. So again, starting on A, C, G, A, F, G, A, and finally you can enter the chorus riff on an E, on an e power chord, right? So this time, so don't forget that. Right, and the chorus, slide four. Yeah, so yeah, we're gonna enter the on the E power chord. Go to D, A, to A again. Then D, A, and E. Okay, and that's the first time. And and basically, you're gonna repeat that thing one more time in the second line. In the final uh, couple of bars, we're gonna have C to G. Okay, and then we're gonna go back to the main riff. Okay, um, so that's what they play on the recording, and uh, I know that I think uh, Richie Faulkner kind of likes to enrich those chords a little bit, so. <laughs> so, like, when he's playing A power, uh, a power chord. Uh, uh, you can also add those two notes here on the fifth fret on B and E strings, okay? So, so I'm gonna have like a more open power chord, more, you know, more rich, so to speak, power chord. It's still made up of those two power chord notes from A and D, right? So I'm gonna have A, E, A, E, and A, right? But you're gonna have more notes, more strings. Uh, and the same for the E power chord, you can also enrich it in the same way, you can add those two strings. Uh, in this case, 4th fret on G and 5th fret on E, uh, on, on B, sorry, on B string. Uh, so then you're gonna have E, B, E, B and E notes. Right? Uh, so you can do that uh, if you want, uh, I guess, if you want to you know, have some variations in the chorus. Um, right, and that's yeah, that's it for the chorus part. Um, and then here, slide five, we're gonna have the post chorus, and it's pretty much the same as the intro riff, as you can see. Um, and yeah, it's gonna end on the A power chord, the very last chord in the second line. Uh, I'm not gonna play this again because I we already covered that in the intro. Uh, so right after that slide six, so you're gonna play another verse and chorus and post chorus as you know exactly as before. 
but then the final, the very last chord in the post chorus riff is gonna be B. Power chord this time, okay? So the second fret on A and the fourth fret on D and G. Okay, so don't forget that. Um, and uh, yeah, so as you can see, the bridge is gonna be modulated into this B tonality. And uh, here in the bridge, we're gonna play this. So, I don't think I have to explain the chords here, right? I mean, just, you know, note that they are syncopated again. <laughs> so all the chords, or almost all the chords, are played ahead of the beat. Um, right, and then what I played at the end there is tapped here at the end of the first line. Oh, the only line. <laughs> um, and that's the harmonized guitar part, so it starts with 7 on B, 9, 7 on G. And then it continues here on side uh, 7. Um. Okay, so nothing too complicated, you know. And basically, you can play this uh, lick again. Or, you know, it's harmonized time as you can hear on the recording, so you can play this lick one octave higher up. Okay, on the E string, and uh, well, some of the uh, one of the guitars also ends on 10th fret on B and 12th fret on B. Yeah. Uh, so you can play you know, either whichever melody you want. You just pick the one that you like to play and you know, go with that. Uh, I only tapped one of the melodies, and that 10th fret on 12th fret on B here is actually yeah, it's for. Yeah, the second guitar. Uh, right, and so uh, right after that, they, yeah, they're gonna continue riffing on this main riff. Uh, this time, though, it's on uh, in B as the pedal note, second fret on A, and not on A, open A. this instead, right? Um, and at the end of the second line, which I just played by the way, <laughs> uh, you're gonna end, you're gonna go back to the A tonality. Okay, so I'm gonna strike the A power chord. And then you're gonna come here to the final slide, uh, 8, and you're gonna play another verse in the chorus, exactly as before. Uh, and I'm gonna play it again. Uh, and uh, you know, at the end of that final chorus, you're gonna slow down the tempo a little bit, and then you're gonna play this final little riff here. Which is this. Basically, uh, yeah, that's basically it. That's pretty much it. Not too complicated. Um, not too many riffs to learn, it's a really good song as well, so you know, go ahead and learn it. Uh, yeah, have fun! <laughs>